Manoscan AR High Resolution Manometry System Indications for Use The Manoscan AR system obtains a high resolution mapping of pressure levels within tubular organs of the human gastrointestinal tract. These organs include the anus and anal rectum. The system is used in a clinical setting to acquire pressures, impedance levels, and video, store the corresponding data, and to provide visualization and analytic tools. The real-time data and analysis information can be viewed by a physician for diagnostic and analytic purposes. Contraindications for Manoscan AR system include Patients with known anal strictures, obstructions, preventing insertion of the instrument. The risks of the Manoscan AR system include perforation, tearing, or bleeding of the intestinal wall. Patients with previous rectal surgery, bowel inflammation, or bowel obstruction may have a higher risk for iatrogenic bowel perforation. Medical, endoscopic, or surgical intervention may be necessary to address any of these complications should they occur. The system is not compatible for use in an MRI magnetic field. Please refer to the product user manual or givenimaging.com for detailed information. Module 1. Preparing to perform a procedure. To power on the Manoscan system, first power on the A120 module. The power switch is located on the left side of the A120 module which is the pressure acquisition module. If performing 3D anal rectal manometry, the A300 module, which is the 3D acquisition module, will power on when the A120 module is powered on. After the modules are powered on, you can power on the PC on the back left of the cart. Press the power button located on the top left of the PC to power on the computer. The monitor and printer will automatically power on when the Windows program starts. On the Windows home screen, you will see two icons. The Manoscan AR icon is used to acquire the study data, and the Manoview AR icon is used to review and analyze the study data. To perform a study, connect the red and blue labeled catheter connectors to the A120 module. If using a Manoscan AR 3D probe, Connect the red and blue labeled catheter connectors to the A300 module. Connect the red labeled connector to the red input with the red dot facing up. Connect the blue labeled connector to the blue input with the red dot facing up. If the connector does not insert easily, remove and start over. To unplug the catheter connectors, pull straight back on the spring-loaded collar to release the connector. It is important not to twist the connectors. Open the Manoscan AR acquisition software by double-clicking on the Manoscan AR icon. You can use the mouse or the touchscreen to open the program. If you have more than one catheter, when prompted, select the appropriate catheter serial number on the catheter at the catheter connector bifurcation. If you receive a warning message that the in vivo calibration is past due, Perform in vivo calibration at that point. In vivo calibration will be discussed in detail in Module 5 of this training video. Next, you will follow the steps in the guided protocol window on the top right corner of the screen. Press Start to enter patient information. All of the fields on the patient information screen with an asterisk next to them are acquired. If there are any fields that remain highlighted in blue after entering the patient's information, you will not be able to proceed. If you wish to save the patient information for later use, press the Save button. The computer will store the information under the patient's first and last name. When you are ready to enter that patient's information again, select the patient's name from the drop-down list and click Load to auto-populate the patient information fields. To proceed, click on the OK button. Press Next to calibrate the catheter. If using a standard anal rectal catheter, calibrate the probe prior to applying the Manoshield AR or tying on the balloon. If using an AR 3D probe, apply the Manoshield AR 3D sheath prior to calibration by referring to the Manoshield AR 3D instruction card. To calibrate a standard AR catheter, Insert the catheter into the calibration chamber up to the bifurcation 
and gently tighten the seal knob by turning it to the right until you meet resistance. Make sure that the metal balloon fill lure is closed off before calibrating. If the ManoScan cart is equipped with an AR3D calibration chamber, make sure that the stopper is inserted and seal knob is tightened. Next, click the Start button in the calibration window to pressure calibrate the catheter. The ManoScan module will pressurize the calibration chamber to 300 millimeters of mercury and will then release the pressure until it returns to zero millimeters of mercury. After calibration has been completed, the cancel button at the bottom left of the calibration window will change to read OK. Click on the OK button to accept the calibration. Now apply the ManoShield AR or tie on a balloon by referring to the ManoShield AR instruction card if using a standard anal rectal catheter. To calibrate an AR 3D probe, First, apply the ManoShield AR3D to the probe by referring to the ManoShield AR3D instruction card. Insert the probe into the AR3D calibration chamber and gently tighten the seal knob by turning it to the right until you meet resistance. Make sure that the stopcock is in the off position before calibrating. Close off the standard calibration chamber with the stopper to prevent air from escaping during calibration. Click the Start button in the calibration window to pressure calibrate the probe. After calibration has been completed, the Cancel button at the bottom left of the calibration window will change to read OK. Click on the OK button to accept the calibration. Module 2, Inserting the Catheter. You are now ready to insert the catheter. It is recommended to zero channels prior to insertion. To do this, press Alt and Z on the keyboard. It is important that there is no pressure being applied to the pressure sensors during this step. After zeroing the channels, the screen should be a uniform dark blue color, and the red line trace on the pressure profile display should be at baseline, straight down the middle of the anatomical anal canal, with no obvious pressure fluctuations. Insert catheter now. If using an AR3D probe, align the bump on the handle to the patient's posterior. Module 3, Performing a Procedure. Press Start to begin recording data. Position probe so that the sphincter pressure band is in the center of the lower section of the pressure contour display. Hold or immobilize the catheter. Allow the patient to relax and get acclimated to the catheter. Instruct the patient to relax and breathe normally for the next 20 seconds. Press the Start button to begin the resting pressure measurement frame. The resting pressure measurement frame will close automatically after 20 seconds. If the patient squeezes or coughs during the measurement frame, you can press the Reset button to remove the measurement frame. You will then press the Start button once the patient is relaxed again. You are now ready to start squeeze number one. Explain to the patient that when instructed, they will need to squeeze as hard as they can for as long as they can, as if they were trying to prevent stool from escaping. Press start to start the squeeze measurement frame and instruct the patient to squeeze. After 20 seconds, the measurement frame will close and you can instruct the patient to stop squeezing. Complete a total of three squeeze maneuvers. Press Finish to go on to the next maneuver. You are ready to start bear down number one. Explain to the patient that when instructed, they will need to push as if they were trying to have a bowel movement. You will need to hold the probe or catheter to ensure that it is not pushed out. Press Start to start the bear down measurement frame and instruct the patient to push. After 20 seconds, the measurement frame will close and you can instruct the patient to stop pushing complete a total of three bear down maneuvers. Press finish to go on to the next maneuver. You are ready to start balloon inflation number one. This maneuver is for the assessment of a rare. Explain to the patient that you will be inflating a small balloon in their rectum and looking for the anal sphincter to relax and that they do not have to do anything during this part of the test. Input the desired balloon fill volume and press set at the bottom right of the screen. Press start to start the balloon fill measurement frame. 
Next, using a 60 cc syringe, rapidly inflate the balloon to the desired volume, then immediately withdraw it from the balloon. You may repeat this step with a higher balloon fill volume if sphincter relaxation is not observed. Press finish to go on to the next maneuver. Sensory thresholds. Explain to the patient that you will be inflating a small balloon in their rectum and you want them to tell you when they first feel a sensation of distension in their rectum. Slowly inflate the balloon using a 60 cc syringe and stop when the patient tells you they feel a sensation. Input the appropriate balloon fill volume and press set at the bottom right of the screen. Press the sensation button to record the event. Next, explain to the patient that you want them to tell you when they feel the urge to have a bowel movement. Continue to inflate the balloon slowly until the patient tells you that they feel the urge to defecate. Input the appropriate balloon fill volume and press set at the bottom right of the screen. Press the urge button to record the event. Finally, explain to the patient that you want them to tell you when they feel discomfort. Continue to inflate the balloon slowly until the patient tells you that they feel discomfort. Immediately remove the air from the balloon and input the appropriate balloon fill volume and press set at the bottom right of the screen. Press the discomfort button to record the event. Do not remove more air from the balloon than you put in. This will create a vacuum on the balloon sensor, which will prevent you from setting the thermal compensation. If this occurs, the balloon channel will be gray. Open the stopcock to outside air so the balloon channel turns blue. Perform any other optional maneuvers per the physician's instructions. Press end to conclude data collection. Module four, ending a procedure. When prompted to do so in the guided protocol, remove the catheter from the patient without applying pressure to the sensors after it has been removed. It is important to continue recording while removing the catheter from the patient to allow for the thermal compensation to be set during the analysis. Allow the catheter to dangle in the air for one second without touching it. Press end and set the catheter on an absorbent pad. If the recording is stopped while the catheter is still in the patient, the person reviewing the study will not be able to set the thermal compensation. Press end to stop the data recording once the catheter is out of the patient. Press end again to end the study and allow for another patient. Click the save and close button to save the study. Confirm that the study name and file location are correct and press the save button. The software is now ready to start the next patient. To clean the catheter, refer to the catheter care and cleaning instructions. To close the ManoScan software, select Exit from the file menu. Turning off the system. The ManoScan modules can be turned off after you are done with performing procedures and the ManoScan acquisition program has been ended. The ManoView AR analysis software can be used while the modules are turned off. To turn off the computer, click the Start button on the taskbar at the bottom left of your desktop. Select Shut Down to turn off your computer while the monitor and printer go into sleep mode. Module 5, In Vivo Calibration, High Resolution AR Catheter. In Vivo Calibration compensates for the transition from room temperature to the patient's body temperature during the study. You will be prompted to perform In Vivo Calibration every five days. To calibrate a standard AR catheter, Insert the catheter into the calibration chamber up to the bifurcation and gently tighten the seal knob by turning it to the right until you meet resistance. Make sure that the metal balloon fill lure is closed off before calibrating. If the ManoScan cart is equipped with an AR3D calibration chamber, make sure that the stopper is inserted and seal knob is tightened. Click the calibration button on the toolbar. Then, click the Start button in the calibration window to pressure calibrate the catheter. The ManoScan module will pressurize the calibration chamber to 300 millimeters of mercury and will then release the pressure until it returns to zero millimeters of mercury. 
After calibration has been completed, the cancel button at the bottom left of the calibration window will change to read OK. Click on the OK button to accept the calibration. Click the calibration button on the toolbar again. Click on the utilities button on the bottom right of the calibration window. Then click the calibrate in vivo button on the calibration utilities window. Press next. Mix hot and cold water in the provided basin. Make sure that the water is between 36 and 38 degrees Celsius using the provided thermometer. Remove the catheter from the calibration chamber and place it on the countertop next to the basin. Do not place the catheter in the water yet. Press next to zero the catheter's pressure sensors. Now place the catheter in the basin, fully submerging the sensors in water. Press next within 10 seconds of immersing the catheter. When in vivo calibration is completed, you will be prompted to remove the catheter from the basin and place on a clean surface. Press finish when prompted. Your catheter is now in vivo calibrated. Click OK to close the utilities window. Allow the catheter to dry and cool down before performing next study. For more information, refer to the Manoscan user manual. Module 6, in vivo calibration, AR3D catheter. In vivo calibration compensates for the transition from room temperature to the patient's body temperature during the study. You will be prompted to perform in vivo calibration every five days. To calibrate an AR3D probe, first apply the Manoshield AR3D sheath to the probe by referring to the Manoshield AR3D instruction card. Insert the probe into the AR3D calibration chamber and gently tighten the seal knob by turning it to the right until you meet resistance. Close off the standard calibration chamber with the stopper to prevent air from escaping during calibration. Click the calibration button on the toolbar. Then click the start button in the calibration window to pressure calibrate the catheter. The ManoScan module will pressurize the calibration chamber to 300 millimeters of mercury and will then release the pressure until it returns to zero millimeters of mercury. After calibration has been completed, the cancel button at the bottom left of the calibration window will change to read OK. Click on the OK button to accept the calibration. Click the calibration button on the toolbar again. Click on the utilities button on the bottom right of the calibration window. Then click the calibrate in vivo button on the calibration utilities window. Press next. Mix hot and cold water in the provided basin. Make sure that the water is between 36 and 38 degrees Celsius using the provided thermometer. Remove the catheter from the calibration chamber and place it on the countertop next to the basin. Do not place the probe in the water yet. Press next to zero the probe pressure sensors. Now place the probe in the basin, fully submerging the sensors in water. Press next within 10 seconds of immersing the probe. When in vivo calibration is completed, you will be prompted to remove the probe from the basin and place on a clean surface. Press finish when prompted. Your probe is now in vivo calibrated. Click OK to close the utilities window. Allow the probe to dry and cool down before performing next study. For more information, refer to the Manoscan user manual.